Google just released something called Gems Inside Gemini, and it is one of the most overlooked features for anyone building AI services. I am talking about creating specialized AI agents in under five minutes that solve real business problems. By the end of this video, you will understand the three-tier framework that professional agencies use to package AI solutions, and most people have no idea this feature even exists yet. I am Paul James. I help people understand AI tools and how they work in real business applications. Today, I am breaking down Google Gemini's gems, how they function, and how agencies and freelancers are structuring services around them. Just know that results vary widely, and this takes real work to implement. Here's what Gems actually does. Google built this feature directly into Gemini to let you create custom AI assistants that are trained for specific tasks. You tell the gem what its job is, how it should respond, what tone to use, and what kind of output you need, then you save it. Now you have a specialized AI agent sitting in your Gemini account, ready to deploy whenever you need it. You can build a gem for anything, customer service responses, social media content, email follow-ups, sales scripts, blog post outlines. The gem remembers its instructions every single time you use it. You are not reprompting it over and over. You set it once and it stays locked in. Watch what happens when you create a gem for a specific niche. Let's say you build one for real estate agents. You train it to write property descriptions in a specific style with local market language and a conversational tone. Every time that agent needs a listing description, they open the gem, drop in the property details, and it spits out a ready to go description in seconds. That is the efficiency here. It is consistent, it is fast, and it is specialized. Real quick, drop a like and comment below. I will reply with a link to free training on understanding AI tools and business applications. Most people are still using Gemini like a search engine. They type in a question and hope for a decent answer. They do not realize you can create these custom agents that act like trained specialists who never forget their instructions. That is where the leverage concept comes in. You are not just accessing Gemini you are creating pre-built solutions that address specific business challenges. Here is where things get wild. You can create as many gems as you want. So instead of building one generic AI assistant, you build an entire suite of specialists. One for customer support, one for content creation, one for lead follow-up, one for appointment booking. You package these together and suddenly you have a structured AI toolkit. This is what I call the AI specialist stack. Instead of offering a broad AI solution that does everything poorly, you offer focused agents that do one thing extremely well. Businesses tend to value specialists over generalists. A specialist doctor earns differently than a general practitioner. A tax attorney prices differently than a general lawyer. Similar logic applies here. Remember I mentioned that three-tier framework at the beginning? We are getting there. But first you need to understand why this approach works better than what most people try. Here's what I got wrong when I first started testing gems. I thought the value was in how many gems I could create. So I built 20 different ones thinking that more equals better. Turns out businesses do not want 20 options. They want three to five that solve their biggest pain points. I wasted a week building gems nobody asked for before I realized the real value is in targeting the right problems, not creating the most agents. Now let me show you how professionals are structuring this. Freelancers are using gems to offer content packages. They build a gem for blog intros, one for social posts, and one for email sequences. Then they offer content management services using these pre-built agents. The client sees consistent output. The freelancer uses structured tools to deliver it efficiently. Here is the angle almost nobody talks about. Service businesses often lose potential revenue because they are too slow to follow up with leads. A plumber gets a call at 9 p.m. and does not respond until the next morning. The customer already booked someone else. You could build a gem specifically for after hours lead follow-up. It drafts the response, keeps the tone professional, and gets it out quickly. A local service business might see value in that kind of response system. You might think this only works for agencies with big teams. Actually, solo freelancers are exploring this because the barrier to entry is low. You do not need expensive software. You do not need a large team. You just need to understand what problems businesses face and how AI tools might help address them. Okay, here is that framework I mentioned at the start. This is how agencies structure gems into service offerings. Keep in mind this is educational and results will vary based on your skills, market, and execution. Most tutorials stop here. But there is a second layer nobody talks about. You can share gems with other people. That means you build the agent once and potentially deploy it across multiple clients. 
You are not rebuilding from scratch every time. You create a customer service gem, test it, refine it, and then offer it to different clients. Your initial effort can potentially scale. This next feature is still rolling out to more users, but if you have access to Gemini Advance, you can integrate gems with Google Workspace. That means your gem can pull from Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Sheets automatically. Imagine a gem that drafts emails based on your calendar, pulls data from a spreadsheet, and writes follow-ups with minimal manual input. That is not theoretical. It is available right now for people who know where to look. Okay, foundation done. Now here is how agencies are structuring this. You need to think about gems in tiers. Tier one is the starter package. You offer three gems focused on one core problem. Maybe it is lead follow-up for service businesses. This solves one specific pain point and the client can evaluate the value quickly. Tier two is the growth package. You add two more gems and integrate them into the client's workflow. Maybe you add a social media gem and a review response gem on top of the lead follow-up. Now you are managing multiple touch points and the scope increases. Tier three is the full stack. You build a custom suite of five to seven gems tailored to their exact business. You integrate with their CRM or their Google workspace. You train their team on how to use it. You offer ongoing optimization. This is the comprehensive solution where you are essentially functioning as their AI implementation team. Here is how this could work in practice. Picture this scenario. A service business owner gets 10 to 15 calls a day. Half of those come in outside business hours. Many go to voicemail and never get a call back. You approach them and explain, you can help cut response time using AI trained specifically for their industry. You show them a gem you already built as a demonstration, they test it. If it works for them, they might see value in implementing it. The pattern I keep seeing is businesses that have this challenge are often willing to explore solutions depending on how much revenue they are losing to slow follow-ups. You are not inventing a new problem. You are just addressing one that already affects their bottom line. Remember, there are no guarantees and every situation is different. Pause for a second. Think about your own network. Who do you know that runs a business and struggles with response time, content creation, or customer follow-up? That could be someone to have a conversation with about what you are learning. So here is the answer to that question I asked at the very beginning. The three-tier framework works because you are not just offering gems. You are offering time efficiency to the business owner. The starter tier proves the concept. The growth tier handles more tasks. The full stack tier positions you as essential. That is the structure some agencies use to scale their AI service offerings. Again, your results will depend entirely on your execution, market, and skills. Here's what the next seven days could look like if you want to explore this. Day one, you create your first gem. Pick one problem you know businesses struggle with. Day two, you test it and refine the instructions until the output is clean. Day three, you build two more gems that complement it. By day seven, you have a three gem starter package ready to demonstrate. That is your tier one concept, or you can keep learning at your own pace and figure out what works for your specific situation. This tool is not going away. Google is investing heavily in Gemini and Gems is just the beginning. The people who learn to understand and implement this thoughtfully will have valuable skills as AI tools continue to develop. If you drop a like, share this with someone who might find this useful and comment below, I will reply with a link to that free training on understanding AI tools and business applications. And again, I will not try and sell you Go High Level because there are free tools out there now with similar functionality. You have the framework, you have the tool. Now go explore and see what you can build.